it is a beautiful day here yeah. and i guess the universe is responding to the love we are sending to it today is a beautiful day to talk about surrender but before then i want to urge you to click the subscribe button and hit the bell like icon to turn all notifications so that you will be the first to notify when I post another of this video. Today I'm going to, talk, to be talking about how to surrender to the universe and bring beauty into your life. Some years ago, while I was still in university, a new VC had taken over and found out that Students were in the habit of not paying tuition. They find a way to exploit the loopholes in the system. And so you find students that are in final year and have not paid school fees for once. I was in that situation when a new visit came and ordered that all students who have not paid school fees or who have not been paying school fees even up to that section where i happen to be a defaulter should withdraw from the school that caused a lot of troubles in my mind and i had series of pains headache sickness and sleepless nights because I was wondering, I was afraid how after I have struggled to get to year three, I will just withdraw from the university. However, a newsletter of a religious body that I subscribed to came in the mail. And when I picked this newsletter, the author was talking about how to face life challenges. And he gave two tips to help you face your challenges. One of the tips is don't store stress. The other tip is let something go. By then, my whole world was in turmoil. I was faced with withdrawing from the university because I could not pay money, my tuition for that session. So how am I going to calm the storm that is ravaging my inner being? These two tips came to my rescue. The first tips, don't stop stress. I now find a way to begin to ease myself from the stress that I've stored up deep down inside me and, I've, and is causing the sleepless nights, the pains, the headaches. I struggled with the te a technique I found out to relieve myself, myself from this stress. I saw the stress flowing away out of my being like water flowing in a river. And with time, I was able to free myself from the stress that I've installed inside of me. Then I picked the second tip, which is let something go. What should I allow now to go that way? Help free me. And I look at my situation. What of if I lose the admission? What of if I withdraw from school? Am I going to die? The answer is no. Be guilt. The chairman of Microsoft. And Mark Zuckerberg the chairman of 
Facebook, withdrew from Harvard, and went on to become great men. So, I made peace with myself. If I withdrew, if the cycle from the school authority came to pass and I withdrew, am I going to die? The answer is no. It will even afford me the opportunity to write books or go and do a startup. With this line of thought, I became relaxed, very relaxed, and I let go of the fears of losing my admission, of losing or dropping away from school. I let go. There are other options I will take if I leave, if I quit the school. Options like going to write books or going to do startup. And with that, I became relaxed. And when I became relaxed, the universe kicked in and I start seeing beauty in the world. I started noticing, noticing the glitz, the glamour, and the rasmatas on campus. As I seen beauty everywhere. Because I choose to surrender the tumor that is inside my being. To the universe. The universe rearranges itself and I was able to get money to pay tuition for that session. Now I'm going to talk about tips that can help you surrender to the universe and even recognize the beauty that are abound in this universe. The first the first tip I'm going to talk about is letting go and letting go. Most times, we hold on to our problems. We hold on to our fears. We hold on to our hatred. We hold on to our poverty mentality. Life would have been better if only we let God take charge. Instead of using our strength and power to resist the flow and struggle of the ebb of life, why not let go and let the universe take over? And bring whatever we need now. Whatever we need to, to make our life better now. Why not allow the universe provide it for us? Instead of struggling with the unknown. Or struggling with our, mental, our poverty mentality. One thing you can benefit from. When you let go and let God, is that you become relaxed from tension. Your relaxed state enables the universe to kick in and cause miracles to happen in your life. The second tip is change your attitude change your attitude change your life what you need to change your life is simply to change your attitude or your state of consciousness what does this mean it means the state at which you are experiencing problems or challenges cannot be the same state 
in which you can find solutions to those problems. Solutions can come to your challenges and problems only when you flip your attitude to a newer and upper vibration, if you like. A change attitude equals a change life. The better you see, the better you can live life. A wrong attitude confers on the holder a flawed life, a flawed existence. That is why you must learn to take stock and change your attitude from time to time. Your attitude, your attitude determine your altitude and your station in life. The third tips I'm going to talk about is counting your blessings. Count your blessings every day. Make it a habit to count your blessings. When you count your blessings every day, it's set in good health. The universe will send good health and abundance your way. The habit of counting your blessings will open you to gratitude for what the universe is bringing into your life. And gratitude opens the windows of abundance. The last tip is putting your attention on the abundance of the universe. Energy flows where your attention is. Wherever your attention is, that is where your energy is. Make it a habit to put your attention on the things you need, on the things you love to experience, and discard the things that you don't need and the things you don't want to experience. What you find out today is that a lot of people put their attention on the things they don't need. When you worry and you become fearful of a particular outcome, you are putting your attention on those outcomes and that is not what you need. You need the opposite, which is joy, freedom, happiness, love. That is where your attention ought to be. When you learn the habit of putting your attention on the things you need, the universe will open up itself to you and bring beauty and abundance into your life. Thank you for watching another edition of the Happiness Channel.